Crabman here from Crabman Gaming, and today we'll be playing WWF SmackDown Just Bring It Story Mode with Tajiri. Now, as you can see here, Tajiri is the WWF Light Heavyweight Champion, so he will just be defending his title in this story mode. He actually wasn't my champ in the original game, but I've had to start a new save. Had to unlock Tajiri, I did that with Steve Blackman. And now he's defending his championship. Tonight I'm going to have ladies man Dean Malenko challenge Tajiri for the light heavyweight title. Also love Vince comes out on pay-per-view just to announce a light heavyweight title match. I'm surprised he even knew there was a light heavyweight title during this time as it was barely ever on TV. So I'd better go through some of Tajiri's career highlights well, because this playthrough won't go for long. It's this playthrough number 36. So there's plenty of other playthroughs to watch if you would like to see some more and flick a quick like at the bottom if you are enjoying the videos. So he did start his career in the US in ECW. Here we are at No Mercy. And in ECW, he was a tag team champion with Mikey Whipwreck. Uh, also had the Sinister Minister as his manager there as well. Those some pretty interesting times. You go back and watch late 90s, early 2000 ECW. Very entertaining. And he was also the ECW television champion as well. Here he is in his one and only reign as the light heavyweight champion. And he's also a three-time cruiserweight champion. Was quite a stalwart of the cruiserweight division. 2002, 2003 on SmackDown and won the United States title during the invasion angle. Lost it to Rhino, I believe, at SummerSlam. That was a pretty good match. That's not my Crabman recommended match, but you can go and watch that one, to Jerry Rhino. Here's the ladies' man, Dean Malenko himself. And a couple of memorable tag team runs for... Tajiri as well. So my Crabman recommended match is this one's Judgment Day 2003. Eddie Guerrero teaming with Tajiri as Chavo was injured to take on the world's greatest tag team in a ladder match. That is my Crabman recommended match. And he also had a very memorable tag team with William Regal as well. And Regal and Tajiri became the tag team champions. And I think that was early 2006. This is a sacred fight. Nobody can interrupt the match. It might have been 2005. Sometimes it all blurs together. Many years of wrestling history. Whoop, why, why am I on it? Why am I on it? Accidentally pressed R2. It's getting trying to get used to using the PlayStation 2 controller again. While well, very, very similar. The L2 and R2 aren't triggers, they're just buttons, so this is a kind of hard piece of plastic where I'd normally rest my hands on the controller with the PS3 and PS4 controller. So just a little bit of time getting used to that. Great. Whip from Tajiri. He's had a very memorable career. Actually came back for the Cruiserweight Classic. Which I believe was in 2016. I can't believe that was four years ago. That is a good kick. I can't believe it was so long ago. It feels like that was just on quite recently. And then I thought... Oh, the mist! I thought that that was his only appearance. And then I had a quick look. And he did do some appearances on NXT. Come on, Tarantula. Oh. Did do some appearances on NXT and also on 205 Live as well before kind of being released again and going back and wrestling in Japan. So he has wrestled in Japan quite constantly outside of his WWE stints. I haven't really seen much of, I can't it. of his what Japanese work. But his work in WWE and ECW I've always enjoyed. Oh, Malenko. Man of a thousand holds. Well, superstars are showing some excellent moves. Trying to put the tarantula on as well. We've seen the mist. He's got this really good kick if you just press down. It's uh, quite a devastating kick. It should just be his finisher. Oh, that's actually. I think the tarantula might be from the front, a front grab. But we'll see. Snap now. 
Got Malenko back in control. He was pretty much Mr. Light Heavyweight Champion in the WWF, and you just see him in backstage segments on Raw with the Radicals, and then pretty much on heat for the rest. Although still with, no, not with the company anymore, with WWE for a long time, recently let go, and now working for AEW. He keeps countering this corner grapple, which is very, very annoying. I love that move. Let me put the tarantula on. Oh, that's not the tarantula. I'm lucky to see such an excellent match. Lots of counters. Um. It's payback time. Nope. Maybe they have to be facing the corner. Frankenstein. Okay, Malenko looks see? like he's had enough. He'll probably counter you? me though. Tajiri. No. Malenko, so annoying. So annoying. It is actually quite annoying in this game. If you want to do something really specific, um, it can be a bit annoying because your opponent will counter all the time. There we go, Tarantula. I'm a happy man. There it is. That's all we need to see for the Tajiri playthrough. Take that, Dean Malenko. Actually, in a good match, you would try and counter it lots of times because you don't want to get hit with... The tarantula, maybe we'll do a mist and then try and pin Dean. However, he is countering everything like the technician that he is. Suplex. He's irritated. There's the mist, there's the mist into a finish. Oh, what's his what's his finisher? I forgot what his finisher is. I have a hundred percent forgotten what Tajiri's finisher is, which I, it is kind of the mist, and maybe he has a kick on the floor. I think it's that. I think he's got like a running, kind of like a big, just a big running kick. Or maybe I'm just imagining that. It's weird, what is his finisher? Dean White's staying down long enough for me to... Is it like a shining wizard? Oh, well, I might even lose. Oh, there it was. There was something from behind. All right, let's try and do that spin again. Usually, I'm good at remembering what everyone's moves moves are. That spin kick seems to. If, if Dean hits, yes, that should be it. That should be it. There we go. No, Dean hits the clover leaf. That'll be it. Oh, he's got it. Oh no, there's a clover leaf. Quick, get to the ropes. Get to the ropes, Jerry. Get to the ropes. Alright, let's hang him up on the ropes. Get in, hit a finish. Oh no, why didn't you stay up? Fans are surprised to see the hang on, where did Tajiri's finisher go? I don't remember hitting it. Or maybe. Oh, maybe Dean counted. Alright, time to pin Dean Malenko. What a fighting spirit! He's got phenomenal skill and great technique. I thought this match would be really quick. Suplex. I'm sure they don't want to take that move. The arena is Bet it hasn't been. Alright, whip him off. Do something. Oh no. Still finding it quite difficult to get used to this controller. I'll tell you what, it's been a great match though. Should put this on No Mercy. This would have been a good match. Malenko to Jiri. I wonder if these two ever did have a match. Uh, no, Malenko did spend most of his time in WCW. I wonder. I wonder if there's a match floating around. It's probably one on Velocity or something. Or Heat from 2002. Might have to have a look on, on WrestleData and check it out. This could be all. I do want to see to Jiri's finisher now. Now we've got all the way there. We've got another finishing bar nearly ready. Alright. Boom. Spinning back kick. Not what I wanted to see. This match being? Let's do a slide through. Oh no, that didn't help. Oh, nice kick. Hurry, hurry. Oh, there was something. There, yeah, there was something there. Spin kick. His octopus stretch is really powerful. Alright, might be an octopus stretch. <laughs> Don't remember him ever hitting that though. Back kick. Uh, okay. Come on, where's this finisher? Hurry, 
Yes! Oh, it is an octopus stretch. Don't really remember that being his finisher, and it's not even all. Doesn't even get the job done. Maybe it'll pin him, though. It doesn't tap out. But pins, ladies man, Dean. Tajiri, still your light heavyweight champion. Well, I hope you enjoyed that match. It was a pretty good back and forth match. We saw the Mist, we saw the Tarantula. I'm pretty sure he had a running shiny wizard, which I could never seem to hit. And Dean nearly beat me as well. So I hope you enjoyed the Tajiri playthrough, and it wasn't a long one. And here he is with the light heavyweight title. The next playthrough is the human suplex machine Taz, another ECW alumni. And we'll be having an exciting playthrough with Taz. Thank you for watching. Flick a like if you've enjoyed the video. And plenty more wrestling to watch on the channel. Have a great day.